Hi, my name is Joshua Carroll and I'm from the Queensland University of Technology. I'm here to show you a simple and yet accurate method for measuring the radius of the Earth. All you need is a video camera, a tall building, a cloudless sky during sunset, and some image processing software. Let me show you how this all works. Before sunset, a tall building will have one side entirely exposed to direct sunlight as long as there are no other buildings or objects in between the building and the horizon in which the sun sets. At this point, none of the direct sunlight reaching the building is blocked by the horizon. As the Earth rotates, the building will rotate along with it, causing the direct sunlight to become blocked by the horizon, and as a result, a shadow from the horizon will become present. This shadow will begin at the base of the building, and when it begins, a timer is started. The shadow will continue to rise up the building as time goes on until it reaches the top and completely covers the building. At this point, the timer is stopped and the time taken for the shadow to traverse the building is noted, which I will refer to as delta t. From this, a right angle triangle can be formed, with the opposite side as the radius of the earth, an angle in which I will denote theta, and the hypotenuse as the radius of the earth plus the height of the building. Using Pythagoras' theorem, the radius of the earth can be solved by simply knowing the height of the building h and the angle which we have denoted theta. To find theta, we use the time, delta t, which we measured earlier. Due to the fact that the Earth takes one full day to complete a full rotation of 360 degrees, we can find the angle theta by realizing that the time it takes for the shadow to cover the building, delta t, divided by one day, is exactly equal to the angle in which it rotated in this time, over a full rotation of 360 degrees. Now obviously the building size and angle of rotation drawn are greatly exaggerated. In reality, this angle is less than one quarter of a degree, so you can understand how difficult this would be to draw to scale. With the height of the building, and now the calculated value for theta, we can use one of the trigonometric functions to find an equation for this triangle, and solve for the Earth's radius. Once we have our expression, we can substitute in for theta, and finally calculate our result for the Earth's radius, using our values for h and delta t. Now how do you go about finding out h and delta t accurately? Well, for finding the height of the building, there are many techniques available. One method is to use a device such as an electronic distance measurement unit, which will give you a result accurate to within plus or minus one centimeter. You could also use a variety of other simpler methods, such as finding the plans for the building. However, a very basic method is to take a photo of the building with a meter ruler in the background. Using imaging processing software freely available, you can measure the amount of pixels in the meter ruler and use this to scale up and find the height h of the building. Lastly, to find the time which the shadow scales the building, a video camera with the auto exposure and autofocus locked is used to record the building during sunset. Later, the frames of the video are exported and image processing software is used to pinpoint the time when the horizon shadow reaches the base of the building and then again when the shadow reaches the top. This is achieved by measuring the luminance or intensity of the light reflected off the building at both points. During sunset, the luminance of the entire building will slowly drop. However, the moment direct sunlight is no longer present on a section of the building due to the horizon's shadow, its luminance at that section will sharply drop. First at the bottom point of the building, and then second at the top point of the building. The difference between these two times will give you delta t. Another way to look at it is by calculating the difference in luminance between the bottom and top of the building. When the shadow reaches the bottom of the building, the luminance difference will increase until it reaches the top. By looking at the data this way, you get a clear indication of delta t. This simple experiment is a great way for students to calculate the radius of the Earth without traveling large distances. We hope you enjoy.